Plus for you at home as well on TV. Choreographers are Mr. Peter Gunn and Ms. Gan Li Ling. Both are dance officers at the Ministry of Education. And you see a cross formation there. The youth of today making their mark as leaders of our future. Well, getting into the swing of things is no easy task, considering that uh, these are school children who not only have to contend with the daily classes, uh, they also have to squeeze in hours of practice. And uh, we hear that they have been at it from as early as April. Well, despite the schedule, some of the members I spoke to say they wouldn't have missed it for the world, this chance to be part of the nation's birthday celebration. There's a very sweet formation of the star and the star quality of our youth. Everyone is a star. The costume designer is Hayden, an accomplished designer himself. Now his part is to ensure that costumes participants wear are not only good to look, but, but comfortable as well. Brothers Four. Later after NDP. Brought to you by Expressions Wellness Redefined. <laughs> Jurassic Park: The Lost World. Tonight at ten on five. A silent predator that strikes swiftly. Mr. Bean, just before your Sunday Prime movie. And welcome back to this special broadcast of Singapore's 38th National Day Parade right here from the National Stadium. They see our audience getting all excited with their clapper sticks joining in the celebration. And we're ready to showcase the next segment of the celebrations and that's the parade and ceremony. That's a signal which uh, indicates the start of the parade and ceremony segment of the parade. And 
what you're hearing now, the sounds of the bugle. And this is the first time that the parade is using the bugle to usher the military march in. Parade Regimental Sergeant Major, Master Warren Officer Yip Lai Singh, marching in accompanied by 12 buglers. And the bugle call is an old British military tradition used by generals to rally their troops to battle. And today its use is largely ceremonial like today, signalling the start of the parade and ceremony segment. From the Army Combat Engineer Group Master Warren Officer Yip has 27 years of distinctive service in the Army and the proud recipient of the SAF Efficiency Medal in 2000 plus many other prestigious and recognized awards and medals. There's Captain Philip Tung from the Combined Band, Central Band, as we see the supporting contingents marching into the stadium. A first for this year's parade and breaking with tradition, this year's 20 contingents will enter the National Stadium with the singing of two songs usually heard at the passing of parades at our, of our SAF soldiers. And the songs are The Pride of Our Nation and We Are One. And these are actually military songs and the lyrics were rewritten to suit the occasion. So usually the soldiers will run into camps with these tunes, but today they are marching to it and I understand it took them some getting used to as well. Our supporting contingents marching in with the covering the five tenets of the national total defense concept. And this is the civil defense contingent represented by the Singapore Police Force and the Singapore Civil Defense Force. And that is the other tenet of our total defense. Uh, it's psychological defense, represented by the school uniform groups. And at the bottom of the screen, you see the military contingents covering the military defense. And this is also the first time that the audience are encouraged to sing and clap along during the parade segment as traditionally the mood has always been rather static. And there you see the NTUC and the PAP contingent representing the social defence of Singapore. And that is the Singtel contingent representing the economic defence of Singapore's total defence. Parade commander for this year's parade, Lieutenant Colonel Gan Eng Kun. Boys, walk on, mga dak to the front. Look your way down, Kanan. Oh, Lieutenant Colonel Gan Eng Kun has contributed 21 distinctive years of service. 
and currently he holds the appointment of S3 of Divisional Air Defense Artillery Brigade in the Air Defense Systems Division. And now the four military defense contingents will take up the position to form up the formation NDP-2003. Stunning sight done to military precision. Domino effect for three-dimensional look of the NDP 2003 formation. A big applause from everybody in the stadium. Commander Lieutenant Colonel Gunn has just given the command for the supporting contingent to stand at attention as we see the Colors Party. The 34 Regimental Colors of the Singapore Armed Forces entering the stadium. The first Guard of Honor contingent to march in is the Singapore Police Force Guard of Honor contingent. Republic of Singapore Air Force Guard of Honor contingent. And there's your three state colors, followed by the Republic of Singapore Navy Guard of Honor contingent. And now the Army Guard of Honor contingent represented by the 1st Battalion Singapore Guards and they're also the best combat unit this year. Well, the Colors Party featured three state colors and 34 regimental colors of the Singapore Armed Forces. The colors are the symbol of pride of the units and must be protected at all times. It's also an emblem of loyalty and courage for our soldiers.
Dressed in their number one ceremonial uniform, each Guard of Honor contingent is made up of 120 men and women lined in six ranks and 20 files. Parade Commander Lieutenant Colonel Gan just given the command for the soldiers to stand at ease as the combined school's choir will now entertain us with a melodious Tamil song titled Padubom Varugal, which also means come sing together. the combined school choir with 800 students from 18 different schools entertaining us with the song Padurom Varungal which also means come sing together well the parade commander has just given the command for the parade to stand at attention as we await the arrival of the speaker and members of parliament and Speaker of Parliament, Mr. Abdullah Chamuji, and the members of Parliament will now take their seats in the stadium. Mr. Abdullah Tamuji, who has been an elected member of Parliament since 1984, he was sworn in as a Speaker of Parliament on the 25th of March last year. And you can see Mr. Indijit Singh, Member of Parliament for Almokyu GRC.
There we see Ms. Uh, Indrani Raja, Tanjung Paka GRC MP. And our members of parliament all dressed in their customary white. And as the speaker and members of parliament take their seats, the combined schools choir will now sing the Malay song entitled Don Dang, which also means the love song for the nation and a tribute to our different cultures. And a clever use of the umbrellas there. Red and white swirls as props there. Don Dang, 
A Malay folk song done by Combined Schools Choir. Parade Commander giving the order for attention as we await the arrival of Senior Minister Lee Kuan Yew, Deputy Prime Ministers and Cabinet Ministers. A round of applause from everybody in the stadium. And there we see big rousing applause for Senior Minister Lee Kuan Yew. Senior Minister Lee will be celebrating his birthday soon, on September the 16th. And now the Combined Schools Choir will entertain us once again, this time around with a Chinese song. It's a Xiao Renu, the Xing Shen, loosely translated. It's a people and their voices. <laughs>
that's uh, Xiaoru, the Xingshen from our Combined Schools Choir, People and Their Voices. And on the stadium, the parades formed up with four Guard of Honor contingents and 20 supporting contingents, with a total of more than 3,200 men and women on the field. And the parade commander calling the parade to attention as we await the arrival of Prime Minister Go Chok Tong. A spectacle of red up on the feet welcoming our Prime Minister. Prime Minister Go Chok Tong is being greeted by the Chief of Defence Force, Major General Ng Yat Chun. And the Prime Minister will now take a salute at the reviewing days. Mr. Goh has been our Prime Minister since November 1990. He's the second Prime Minister of Singapore. And Prime Minister Goh in his National Day message last night said that he was very proud of us Singaporeans for our unity and conduct in fighting SARS. Now, in fact, he urged all Singaporeans to draw on the same solidarity and spirit to deal with another challenge, and that's getting our economy healthy and strong again. And now we'll have our Singapore's very own songbird, Stephanie Sun, to entertain us with the NDP 2003 theme song, One United People.
Nissan singing the NDP 2003 theme song, One United People. She's young, confident, charming, internationally known, and yet someone who considers Singapore home. A song composed by Joshua Wan, who has produced and arranged for artists like Tracy Huang and Sandy Lam. And now the stadium awaits the arrival of uh, President S. R. Naden. And now you're hearing the President Fanfare welcoming our President into the stadium. President S. R. Naden being greeted by Major General Ng Yat Chun, Chief of Defense Force. A big applause and cheers from everybody in the stadium welcoming our president. Boris! Hold President! Hold Turn Majula Singapura or Onward Singapore, composed by the late Inche Zubia side and launched back in December 1959. And during the national anthem, you saw a giant state flag flown past by the Chinook, escorted by two super pumas, a tribute to the nation. And now another salute to the nation is what we call the bomb burst, as everybody will be looking up to the skies for five A4 Super Skyhawks flying across the stadium. And there you see, accompanied by three F-16 Fighting Falcons, a deafening blast indeed. A salute to the nation, a bomb burst. Mr. President, the parade is formed up and ready for inspection. Sir. And as the President makes his way to the Guard of Honor contingents outside the stadium, by the waterfront, we have the 21-gun salute. The 21-gun salute is a tradition dating back to the 14th century 
Apart from being a mark of respect, gun salutes were a way for soldiers in the past to declare their friendly intentions. And the 21 gun salute is a tradition that signifies the highest respect. The presidential gun salute is provided by the ceremonial 25 pounders. President S. R. Nathan's fourth year officiating the National Day Parade. And the President will proceed to inspect the first contingent, which is the Army Guard of Honor contingent. And this year they are represented by the 1st Battalion Singapore Guards, and they are the best combat unit for this year. And we hear that some of the soldiers voluntarily extended their ORD by two months just to be able to be part of this distinguished honour, to be the Guard of Honour for First Battalion Guards. Indeed a very proud moment for a young soldier there. The second contingent is the Republic of Singapore Navy Guard of Honor contingent. A special moment as the President says a few words to her. And the President approaching the three state colors with the 34 regimental colours behind. The third contingent is the Republic of Singapore Air Force Guard of Honour contingent. is the Guard of Honor contingent, the Singapore Police Force. has completed his inspection of the Guard of Honours, he will be driven around the stadium in a ceremonial Land Rover.
This is an emotional moment for all in the stadium as everyone gets a close-up look at the president. President Ezra Nadin was born on the 3rd of July 1924 and he is the country's sixth president. a huge banner to welcome the president being passed down from the choir onto the field. Mini flags waved at our president. 60,000 spectators around on the feet saying hello to our president. Our healthcare workers are here as well, the unsung heroes during the SARS outbreak. They're joining in the festivity today. President Northern, Singapore's second elected president, is a well-respected man who began his career in the civil service. A man of sharp intelligence and great integrity, President Northern rose quickly through the ranks in the civil service. President Nathan was at one time Singapore's High Commissioner to Malaysia and Ambassador to the United States. He was elected as Singapore's President on 18 August The president will now make his way to his seat and enjoy the rest of the parade. Come along to Omadan. Akan Sankar through the draw. And now the parade commander will be giving the order for the guard of honors to execute the feu de joie. The Feu de Joie is a French tradition where three rounds will be fired consecutively to symbolically portray a sense of joy and festivity today, being the nation's 38th birthday. Mr. President, may I have your permission to march past the parade, sir? A 
And now that the parade command has received the permission from the president for the march pass, he'll give the order for the Guard of Honor contingent to prepare for it. Come along, Commandant Russo. Your line, Julang, Danja. Stop! Come along, Commandant. Akan berjalan lalu dalam masa cepat. Bergerak ke kanan, ke kanan. Boom! Stop! Colors party taking up a position. The 34 regimental colors together with the three state colors. Parade Commander Lieutenant Colonel Gan Ing Kun. A very proud honor for our 41 year old officer today. contingent led by Major Yap Tai Chuan. And following behind and commanded by Major Ng Bun Sun, the Navy Guard of Honor contingent. And they are formed by men and women from the Naval Diving Unit at the Institute of Naval Technology and Operations. And now the Air Force Guard of Honor contingent led by Major Liao Ing Soon. And it's formed by men and women from the field defense squadrons of Changi Air Base, Paya Leba Air Base, Sembawang Air Base and Tengai Air Base. And the 4th Guard of Honor contingent is formed by the Singapore Police Force and they are led by Deputy Superintendent Muhammad Riza bin Abdul Rahim.
dressed in their smart ceremonial uniform, each Guard of Honor contingent is made up of 120 men and women lined in six ranks and 20 files. And now the stadium will prepare for the next part of the parade as the lights are dimmed. And immediately you see torches being lit up from our audience. 60,000 torches, I must add. And you can see a state flag put up by the psychological defense supporting contingents. The military contingents lighting up the words NDP 2003 with sparklers in a roaring finale to the parade and ceremony segment. What a spectacular view from the top. And that's when the little torch lights in the goodie bags that the audience receive is put to good use right now. Everybody lighting up the torch light. fought the virus to save others. We too have witnessed the true spirit of Singaporeans uniting as one people. Let us now reflect upon our journey through this crisis. And now the parade will take a break to pay tribute to our nation for rising to the SARS challenge as one united people. I'm only hopeful that you know the public will not discriminate us, will not treat us like uh, dirt, you know. I felt as though I'm dying. I need oxygen. The experience taught me the true meaning of empathy and compassion. Together, we can and we will defeat this disease. Actually, I'm quite lucky because I have a very good neighbour and eh? because they don't feel quite chiseled because of this home quarantine order. Congratulate Singapore to a united support against this disease. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big Singapore welcome to our heroes, our healthcare workers. And now, a salute to the spirit of our selfless healthcare workers in overcoming the SARS challenge. Many stood up bravely in the front line in a battle against SARS. And as our MCs leave the stadium with the song Through Your Eyes, we see 240 healthcare workers joining in, carrying lighted hearts to pay tribute to our unsung heroes. Well, they indeed have hearts of gold, lighting up the spirits when all seemed dark. And the hearts we see were contributed by our soldiers from the Third Guards. A 
very touching and emotional moment for everyone in the stadium and the thousands and thousands watching this parade right now on TV, I'm sure. We salute the spirit of Singaporeans in overcoming the SARS challenge together. They will always be heroes in the hearts and minds of Singaporeans as we pay all of them a big tribute on our nation's 38th birthday today. A beautiful moment indeed. My fellow Singaporeans, a crisis makes or breaks the nation. The SARS crisis has made our country stronger. We overcame a tough challenge together. It bonded us. May we never have to face another crisis like this. But if we do, let us inspire each other, fight as one, and win the battle as we did with SARS. Well, then, as Prime Minister Go Chok Chong said last night in his National Day message, SARS is a deadly disease, but Singaporeans fought it bravely and smartly. And everybody took up arms and close ranks, stood shoulder to shoulder, regardless of colour or creed, and live up to our national pledge. Indeed, one people, one nation, one Singapore. Singaporeans have definitely shown that as one united people, we can face up to any challenge and we can certainly draw strength from each other as we showed during the SARS crisis to overcome any difficulties there may be. Exhilarating countdown, and as always, a magical fireworks providing a dramatic start to the show segment of the parade. And right now, all eyes on a three huge screens together, measuring 60 by 20 meters, three times the size of a normal cinema screen. Well, it's almost as if you're watching a movie under the stars. The creative director for this year's parade is Glenn Gree, who has directed many plays and musicals, including a movie as well. Glenn's international claim to fame is the London West End stage production of M. Butterfly. Tonight, Glenn will put all his experience and creativity for the nation in a show segment of the parade. From the solar system and into Earth, and finally we locate a tiny island called Singapore. Let me tell you a story. A story about an island in the sun. An island we call Singapore. A long, long time ago, long before your time, our forefathers came from faraway land, each with their hopes and dreams, but all in search of a better life. We came from different backgrounds and cultures, but together, we made this our home. With our hearts beating as one, a new rhythm of life was born. 
And there you have a familiar face on TV, Moses Lim telling a story and introducing the first act of the show segment by the People's Association called Many Races, One People. Anchored by more than 1,200 participants, uh, this act showcases the uniqueness of Singapore, an island where different races, cultures and religions integrate and strive together to achieve a common goal. segment this year will be enhanced by a technology called PG Projection. Used for the first time in NDP history, PG is a projection equipment capable of projecting images over a distance on a screen with high resolution, creating a piece for the eyes. Well, the PG projectors will superimpose various images that complement the formations of the performance on the field and onto the stadium screen. As you can see right now, there's a Chinese embroidery as we move from a graceful Malay dance to a Wushu Chinese display. involvement with the National Day Parade began in 1965, where they were part of the marching contingents. Now, since 1985, they've taken the lead by being part of the show segment every year. item we are reminded again about the significance of racial harmony in Singapore which is a very crucial attribute of a cohesive society the theme for this year's parade and as you can see the PG projection transforming from the Chinese embroidery into an Indian sari Singaporeans of all races and religions serve together to safeguard Singapore's security. the Eurasian procession with the PG of a tapestry. And also notice the array of beautiful ethnic umbrellas and lanterns, uh, certainly not seen in many parts of the world, especially with such uh, diverse ethnic backgrounds. Well, a reminder of the need to seek to understand other cultures to be sensitive to the needs of others.
This is a spectacular view of the four different races and the PG projection on the field, different fabrics coming together as we approach the finale of this uh, item. Well, each of us can play a part to build friendship, understanding and trust among all Singaporeans. choreography of this performance uh, is done by Mr. Fan Dong Kai, a tutor and choreographer at the National University of Singapore. So some lovely lanterns and umbrellas. And there is harmony in motion, all the colors of unity. Notice also the four different cloths coming together. Yo, and Gold Comets fired from the island stage, the People's Association, many races, one people. Every year on this 9th of August, for many years ahead, how many I do not know, we will dedicate ourselves anew to consolidate ourselves to survive and most important of all to find an enduring future for what we have built and what our forebears shall build on. They came from all walks of life each playing his part. From crisis to crisis, we will hand in hand to overcome the challenges. Stone by stone, brick by brick, our little island had become a modern city of the world. From a sleepy little kampong, <laughs> our city now marched to a new beach. Um, the senior minister early on in black and white television days delivering a very powerful message during his National Day rally speech in 1968. And his words still mean so much even in today's context. That's right. Now, under Mr. Lee's guidance, Singapore today is a financial and industrial powerhouse despite the lack of abundant natural resources. And now on the field, we see the entry of uh, troops from the Traffic Police, the Singapore Civil Defence Force and the SAF Provost Unit in this next performance. I will probably never see our traffic police riding in this manner anywhere in the streets of Singapore. A stunt that requires extreme balance and agility. The SAF Provost is part of the SAF Military Police and they are tasked with the enormous responsibility of maintaining security and discipline in the Army. Well, uh, this SAF Provost Precision Rifle Drill has always been a crowd favourite. It requires tremendous concentration, timing and coordination with the fellow performers. Especially when they juggle around their Mark IV rifles. and comments by from our provost soldiers and now we 
you see a whole load of throw-down balls, 650 inflatable balls to be precise, being passed onto the field from the spectators, who must be very surprised by this activity this year. Actually, if you examine the balls carefully and closely, each ball is painted differently, depicting the different occupations in Singapore. I've been trying to take a close-up look. Construction workers, nurses, doctors, sportsmen and women, just to name a few. That's right, now Bennett, they sure look like good souvenirs to bring home. I just think they're too huge for spectators to bring out of it. Well, we'll try to sneak out one later on. Our spectators are really having a good time tossing these balls onto the field. And now we see the 800-strong contingent from the Singapore Soka Association. And this is the Kinetics PG, representing a movement of energy as our performers are dressed in different costumes representing various occupations and sectors of our society. Association has been part of the parade for the past 18 years. Well, if you think about it, a cohesive society is not just about racial harmony. It's also about the different strata and segments of society coming together to form our homeland of Singapore. Absolutely. Well, be they doctors, uh, construction workers, cosmopolitans or heartlanders, foreign or local talents, every individual counts. Force has undergone much changes over the years to meet the evolving needs of the country and economy. That's right, starting with manufacturing and engineering base in the 70s, we then moved on to introduce more skills, banking and finance, education and more recently biotechnology. Well, this item with its uh, multi-talented cast reminds us that the strength of Singapore doesn't depend on the size of a population but on the quality and strength of our people. that has learned to innovate, that is not afraid to create, experiment and be entrepreneurial. An aerial view of what's happening on the ground. And uh, this formation represents the circuit board, which reminds us once again that Singapore is an very advanced IT hub. Clever use of the light props to form the satellite, symbolic of Singapore as a telecommunications hub. One satellite to the next. And the light.
my crowd feels the symbols of the success we see in our country and this display speaks of Singapore's ability to compete in the global arena. Now what you see right now are our performers trying to build five towers. The four groups from the field will use ladders that they brought along with them to create a tower, while the fifth tower on the island stage is a human tower. And this is one feat where both individual efforts and unity are vital to its construction. That's right, it also depicts the importance of every single individual and each has an important role to play to achieve team excellence. We see some giant inflatable icons as well. That is the Changi Airport Control Tower, our pride and joy perhaps. The human tower efforts of everyone to scale to greater heights. Against a beautiful backdrop of Singapore's skyscrapers on the three screens. Beautiful item from the Singapore Soka Association. Choreographed by Mr. Spencer Wu, who's been involved in the parade since 1985. So, this is our history. What happens now, Uncle? Is that how the story ends? No! It is now your turn to write the next chapter. So, raise your voices, tell your stories, sing your songs, and let your hearts dance to the beat of a new drum. And there we see Philip Tan back again with the beat of a new drum, as Moses explained. And you'll notice that Philip is using all sorts of equipment to make his sound. The body of a bicycle, stereo boombox, back of a skateboard, a breakaway from the regular use of drums. And this is a showcase of creativity, a reminder to all of us that we need to continuously strive to innovate and think out of the box to stay ahead. There's one chant that everybody knows very well by now. You can't see them, but you can sure hear them, the 60,000 spectators doing the Singapore chant. And we see the 76 neon paint drummers. This is like a whole lot of fun. It's a first for the parade. In the dark, the neon paint glows and it's a colorful experience for the audience in the stadium. drummers are lifted by the scissor lifts and the audience in the front rows will get some of the splashes I'm sure. Anchored by 560 students from the Commonwealth Secondary School, this next segment depicts the dreams and aspirations of Singapore and her future. Students from Commonwealth Secondary School truly showed great commitment to NDP effort and went out of their way to make up for lost time as many students had missed rehearsals during the SARS period. A beautiful formation of uh, the eye vision for the future as we strive to create a better tomorrow for Singapore.
The children are our future leaders of tomorrow. Oh boy, he sure can move. Sheikh Haiko wearing number 38. Our nation's birthday chants one people, one nation, one Singapore. Accompanied by Urban Exchange. Now you see a globe formation, as Prime Minister Go Chok Tong said. Over the years, the Singaporean workforce has also learned to meet the challenges of globalization and growing economic competition. But we have created new strategies to stay ahead and stay relevant, to take full advantage of new opportunities to remake the Singapore economy. Vanessa Fernandez from Urban Exchange. And this is a beautiful flower formation of the Jibera. Singapore, a relatively young country, blossoming through the generations. There is your neon painters again, still having fun with the water. Local entertainer Kuma singing Ankle Singapore, reminding us again about the richness and diversity of cultures here. Singapore, 
and look out for break dancers on the ramps. This is the first time break dance, a popular activity amongst the young ones back in the 80s, is back in full fashion today. And the youngest break dancer is nine year old Siti Nurli Yana. Possibly the youngest break dancer in Singapore. She's really looking so confident and fun. And we have uh, 64 graffiti artists decorating the rams of the stage creatively by spraying words from our shared values. And they're spraying the words, one united people, family, respect, love, harmony and peace. And the wheel formation, the wheel of change and progress, anchored by core values of our families and unity. Beautiful fireworks wrapping up the performance. For me, this is home because my family, my friends, my people are here. My memories are here. My hopes are here. This is home because we built it. And it certainly must be one of the most moving speeches from Prime Minister Go Chuck Tong. This is home. This is where all of us belong. A home where all of us are proud of. A home we call Singapore. And this spirit is clearly demonstrated by our international songbird Stephanie Sun as we welcome her back with a theme song for NDP 2003, One United People. Well, the stage is elevated by 8 meters in height from the ground. It's Stephanie's second performance at the National Day Parade. Last year, she was involved as well, singing the theme song for last year, Deep In My Heart. Well, we see two or three tier families taking part in this year's parade as well from the touch community, stressing on the importance of families staying united. The oldest participant from touch community is 85-year-old Madam Lau Yi Soon, while the youngest is 4-year-old Brandon Ng. Stay as one united people in order to ensure that the future of our nation remains bright and shining. And this is especially pertinent in view of the tough times and challenges ahead. It's really up to you and I to keep Singapore going. And we see two huge giant cloths are being passed onto the field from the participants. And this requires one united people to pull such a feat off. In fact, 5,000 performers are passing these two huge cloths across. New Singapore, one people. One nation, one Singapore. Home in four different languages.
the Singapore flag. And everybody's enjoying this next segment of the parade right now, including our VIPs as well, our ministers. It's a fireworks display. Spectacular fireworks, a marvellous display, bursting in exuberance around the stadium and choreographed in synchronisation to Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture. And there we have it. The stunning kaleidoscope of colours of the fireworks display enhances the intense light, sounds and colours of the National Day Parade. And every burst of fireworks is greeted by cheers and screams around the stadium. And if you're watching this parade at home right now, anywhere near the National Stadium, if you look out of the window, you possibly can see a glimpse of a fireworks from the National Stadium. And even our performers are enjoying the fireworks display as well. Fireworks lighting up the night sky. Now, doesn't it make you feel like a kid all over again just watching it? <laughs> Absolutely. Mesmerizing. And you know what? No matter how many times you see a display of fireworks, the beauty of the fireworks will never fail to captivate anyone. And you see a beautiful outline of Singapore on the field, a Singapore island put out by our performers and everybody having a a great time and now 60,000 voices will sing as one as we salute the nation one more time on a National Day Parade today. This is home because we grew up here. Everybody is standing up. Nobody is sitting down in the entire stadium. Standing up for Singapore, including our cabinet ministers as well. Senior Minister Lee enjoying the parade, just like everybody else. And whatever our origins may be, we are united by the common vision of Singapore as our home. And only when all citizens share this common passion for the country will the Singapore heartbeat be strong. And talking about the Singapore heartbeat, tonight the Singapore heartbeat is very strong. Singapore where our roots are and where our future lies. 
a tiny island with slightly over 4 million people, but we have certainly stamped our mark worldwide as we continue to strive for the best results. Do the break down to that as well. We are Singapore. This island has become home because they've chosen to make Singapore home. Big smiles from Prime Minister Go. And if you know the song to this lyrics at home, just sing along. And more fireworks as we celebrate the nation's 38th birthday. We are Singapore, we are Singaporeans, and indeed we are proud of it. As one united people and a final burst of fireworks. And now we'll have the pledge taking, uniting all Singaporeans to pledge our loyalty and commitment to the nation, to this place we call home. Majula Singapura in one voice throughout the entire stadium. As one cohesive society, no challenges are too strong that we can't overcome it together. And the release of the 5,000 red and white balloons as Singapore reaches out to the world. And at this moment, the President will take his leave shortly.
Away from a president. And a big applause from everybody. President thanking some of the performers and I'm sure he had a good time this evening. And it is good night, Mr. President. Tonight, Singapore celebrates 38 years of independence with a vision to continue to reach for the best. A parade that captures the dreams and hopes of a nation, a reflection of who we are and what we want to be. As one united people living in a cohesive society, Singaporeans have demonstrated that regardless of race, language and religion, standing together as one people, one nation, one Singapore, uniting ourselves for the challenges ahead. And that's right. Each one of us has a role to play to make our home a better place. And as our Prime Minister reminded us last night, we must never give up on making Singapore even better. With that, we hope you've enjoyed MediaCorp TV's coverage of the National Day Parade 2003, live from the National Stadium. On behalf of the entire big crew, we want to thank you for staying with us throughout the parade on Channel 5. And celebrations continue on 5 after this with a debut episode of Brothers 4. And later tonight at 10pm, don't forget to catch the blockbuster movie, The Lost World, Jurassic Park 2. I'm Glenda Chong. <laughs> well, I'm Bernard Lim. We had fun. We did indeed. Good night and happy birthday, Singapore. Bye-bye. MediaCorp celebrates 40 years of television. The National Day Parade 2003 was brought to you by the following sponsors. Day Parade 2003 Encore. Next week at 5 p.m. on 5. You are late. I was stuck in the meeting and the traffic. I thought you forgot. Of course not. Get two Happy Meals, please. Mommy, mm -hmm. why do you order Happy Meal? Because you make me happy.
Hello, boy. I'm mommy here. I have so much to tell you. But phone call too expensive. Are you sleeping well? Don't forget to buy some vitamins. I don't want you to fall sick. And remember to lock your doors properly when you go out. You never know. Okay, I've got to go now. Bye, bye. There's a better way to save costs. Phoenix 1516 IDD. Overseas calls you can always afford. 您还在使用对人体有害的化学剂来清理家居吗？试一试，能使清水发挥蒸汽威力的